write the addition expression for each number line. What it's looking for is the first one says negative 4, or sorry, the last one says negative 4, because it's going to the left, 4, plus positive 2, because it moves to the right two spots. You do not need the answer, you are just writing the expression. If it wanted the answer as well, it would say the number sentence. What do you notice and what do you wonder about the number sentences in the chart? Come up with a hypothesis about how to find the values for the last two. And then maybe think about how you would solve a problem like 3 minus 20. In today's lesson and throughout this topic, we're going to explore how to evaluate any integer subtraction expression, such as 3 minus 20. What are some different ways that you can interpret the expression 10 minus 8? We could think of it as 10 take away 8. We could think of it as the difference between 10 and 8. Or taking 8 from 10. How far apart are 10 and 8 on a number line? What number would you add to 8 to get to 10? How much is left when you take 8 away from 10? All of these will come out to 2. Do you think any of those strategies could work for any subtraction problem, even if it included negative numbers? If I had 10 of something, I could think of taking 8 of them away. And I'd be left with 2. But if I had 8 of something, could I still use that same thought process to take 10 away? Well, no, because there's not 10 to remove if all we started with was 8. So we might have to come up with some other interpretation for subtraction to be able to solve problems such as this. For problems 1 through 8, use the number line to find the distance between the two numbers in the subtraction expression and record your answer in the column labeled distance apart on the number line. Remember distance is always a positive value. We wouldn't say that they're negative two feet apart, we would say they're two feet apart. So for 10 and eight, we're gonna place both of those numbers on the number line and we can see that they are two apart from each other. Eight and 10 are also two apart, even if we change the order of them. For 10 and negative eight, those are a lot farther. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 apart. If I place 8 and negative 10 on the number line, those are also 18 apart. This one I have negative 10 and positive 8. So those are 18 apart. This one has negative 8 and positive 10, which is also 18 apart. Negative 8 and negative 10, those are 2 apart. Negative 10 and negative 8 are 2 apart. Not a single one of these subtraction expressions is identical, but some of our distances are the same. 
Let's look at 10 minus 8 and 8 minus 10, the first two. What do you notice about these expressions? They have the same numbers, 8 and 10, but they're subtracted in different orders. We know that in addition expressions, add-ins can be added in any order. So if we had 8 plus 10, it would be the same as 10 plus 8. But can they be subtracted in any order? No, you can't subtract numbers in any order. We just saw that if you had 10 objects, you could take 8 away. But if you had 8 objects, you couldn't take 10 away. Which expressions feature two numbers with the same signs? These are both positive values. These ones were both positives. Here I have a positive and a negative. Positive and a negative. Negative and a positive. Negative and a positive. Negative and a negative. Negative and a negative. So there are four that have the same signs. What's similar about those expressions? Those ones are all two units apart on the number line. Negative 8 and negative 10 are two apart. And positive 8 and positive 10 are also two apart. For our unknown add-in equation, we are going to try and figure out what we could add to the second value to get back to the first. So it's going to look like this. 8 plus something would get us back to 10. 10 plus something would get us to 8. Negative 8 plus something would put us at 10. Negative 10 plus some amount would put us back at 8. Eight plus something would get us to negative ten. Ten plus something would get us to negative eight. Negative ten plus something would put us at negative eight. And negative eight plus something would put us at negative ten. Now we're going to fill these in. Eight plus two is ten. Ten plus Negative 2 is 8. Negative 8 plus 18 is 10. Negative 10 plus 18 is 8. 8 plus negative 18 would put us at negative 10. 10 plus negative 18 would put us at negative 8. Negative 10 plus 2 would put us at negative 8. And negative 8 plus negative 2 would get us to negative 10. Here you can see for number 1, for that first row, 8 plus 2 is 10. And then we have 10 plus negative 2 puts us at 8. Negative 8 plus 18 puts us back at 10. Negative 10 plus 18 puts us back at 8. 8 plus negative 18 will put us at negative 10. 10 plus negative 18 will put us at negative 8. Negative 10 plus 2 will put us at negative 8. And negative 8 plus negative 2 will take us to negative 10. Mostly we're just filling in that table today using those number lines as a support to help us answer those questions. Please make sure your workbook is filled in and your warm-ups are complete.